right, guys. Welcome to the Try Sentence Podcast. My name is Avas, and I have Sharosh with me in our Ooh. weird setup. Uh, I got my bed right behind me because mm-hmm. I had no other place to put it. Yes. Hopefully, this can turn into something great. The studio we're using a webcam, so First, the quality wasn't that said, good man. before, and it's even going to be worse now. It's going to be worse now. Okay. It's going to be worse now. It's fantastic. Uh-huh. And of course, making his return, we have Ali. I'll put, mm-hmm. a, I'll put a picture of Ali. I have my YouTube at the back. I don't know why. I'll turn that off. Uh, hold on. I have a picture of Ali uh, close it's to me. me. There you go. <laughs> that's that's, that's Ali. Ali right there. Oh, yeah. It's me. <laughs> it's gonna just extend it like just so you know, Ali, what's going on is he's putting a picture of the daredevil Ben Affleck surprised face Yeah. on... <laughs> On our background. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> Ben Affleck as Daredevil. Oh, that was the best movie I've ever <laughs> seen. Now. It's, it's, it's amazing, dude. It's a, it's such a. You gotta cherish it so much. Yeah. But guys, this is the Tri Sentence Podcast where we talk about random topics for your entertainment. Yes, sir. And if you want to check us out, we are available on the YouTube channel Project Pandemonium, as well as. Our audio platforms, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, and Google Music. I haven't uploaded there for a while. I should probably <laughs> upload the episodes. What what happened yes. to Stitcher? Guys, huh? uh, I'm saying I uh, I haven't uploaded over there for like a while, so I should probably head on that. But guys, before we begin, Sroj, yes, let's talk about the news, man. What's oh, going on? This news, some some. Well, you know what? I'm gonna start off with like the Christendence like minute news that did something that just happened right now like a few minutes ago yeah we, we should because, have like an, a theme song introduction yeah just because you know we're like professional and you know we give you mm-hmm. up to up oh, to yes, date definitely. news like yeah. always so here, here's here's the news of today that just happened that just got leaked like five minutes ago yeah joker bum, 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 bum. origins story produced by warner brothers also produced by martin scorsese now what are you now I know what you guys are asking. What a joke an origin Joker movie? Yes. I'm actually asking, is it gonna be Jared Leto? No, let Please me know. Now we don't know. Cause we know <laughs> cause all we know right now is Jared Leto has been uh he's attached to the Suicide Squad sequel and yeah. also the whole Gotham Gotham City Sirens. Mm-hmm. He's rumored to be in that as well. But, I also have a But this is gonna be they're saying it's gonna be like a brand new. They're just they're just gonna add they're just gonna add to the canon of DCEU. Mm-hmm. So they don't know what it is right now. They're just saying they're developing an origin story with Martin Scorsese as a producer. Interesting. And now if you for the Joker for the Joker, yeah. Okay. So my question is in the yeah. comic right now uh, after Batman got on the chair and yeah chair who the Joker was right and the Joker said there were three Jokers so. In this uh, Joker's origin, is there going to be one Joker or are there going to be three Jokers? You don't well, know, man. That's a very good question, but I don't think they've they told us that much yet. And also, uh, I don't think they're going to like complicate it like too much. I think they're going to make it like, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to yeah. be... It'll be related to the Batman movie. Like there, yeah. you know, the Joker will be something else. And then after that, it'll be like, okay, it's actually this Joker. Yeah. This is another one. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah, just to clarify, they're saying that it could be like an like an origin story. Then they start off with like a brand new Joker who's younger mm-hmm. and who's getting into. And they're saying it's like an 80s crime setting. And for those of you oh, who knows, no. For those of you who know Martin Scorsese, why that's a good thing. He's a very you. great like crime drama director. You yeah, know, he's done a lot of good gangster movies in the past. Exactly. So this that. could very tie in very well if they want to oh, tell in like a Joker dude, story. Th- 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 then the movie is gonna make sense. It's a Joker movie. It's not supposed <laughs> to make any sense. What the? Of course, it's supposed. To, it's an. It's an origin story, Ali. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> and also. Uh, uh he also directed the departed which is a freaking good amazing movie, movie right? Oh, right he won an oscar for it so so yeah so martin scorsese definitely knows his stuff he's producing he's producing this one and so so i guess what they're trying to basically do is 
get that essence of Joker that was in the Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. You know, we we all fell in love with that Joker. You know, that Joker is mm. critically acclaimed. Heath Ledger, you know, may he rest in peace. Mm. But uh, so that's what they're trying to. Base, Dark Knight was basically a Joker movie on yeah. its own. If you think about it, it's the Joker feature in Batman. Yeah, so they're trying to go in that <laughs> direction with the whole crime oriented like yeah. Joker origin story, which could which could be actually pretty cool. You know, we love the Dark Knight, so maybe we'll love this new Joker movie. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep. What else is happening? So another news that's quite controversial is the whole uh, Josh Whedon controversy that happening uh, this week. So for those of you who don't know, Josh Whedon is going through like an apparent divorce. And his wife, his ex-wife, just came out uh, saying that Josh Whedon is... Because, you know, Josh Whedon is known to be like a feminist... You know, he's very, he, he does a lot of strong uh, female characters in his movies yeah. and stuff like that. Buffy the Vampire Still, Slayer, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But his wife came out saying that that's completely false and he's like a, he's like a false feminist. What? You know, and he's very, you, you know, he's just, she just came out like, you know, back modding him and stuff like that. And apparently this, this has quite, this has caused like a quite backlash towards Josh Whedon's image that they actually closed down like his fan web- website. That was going on, mm-hmm. damn. Just because of her remarks and stuff like that, and oh. uh, for one, this does not help the whole Justice League image at all because they're only Definitely. they're only going through like all this stuff, and uh, yeah. So, like, what do you guys think about this whole tarnishing of Josh Whedon's image that's supposedly go- going? I had around? no idea, man. That Josh Whedon was going through like so much. He's making yeah. all these like crazy movies, like the Avengers and stuff, and now mm-hmm. you have like. I don't know. That's kind of just scary. Just to add to the flame, uh, if if you guys remember Avengers two, yeah, uh, there was a big backlash of how Black Widow was handled. There was the whole like you know damsel in distress situation yeah. that fans didn't like at all. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then there was also uh, like a few weeks ago where there was a Wonder Woman script that was released that supposedly Josh Whedon wrote mm-hmm. back in the day, and that was all like you know. That that went through a whole backlash as well, just because it was like very offensive towards women and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see that you know a man of that caliber. Yeah, it's kind of uh, yeah. I don't know, man. That sounds very. Um, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I mean, I don't know what that's to say. I like, say. I mean, hope things work out between him and the wife. Yeah. But uh, the ex, yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, but yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So, so what else, man. Moving on. So leaning on to the next rumor that's going on the rounds is that Justice League is now deemed unwatchable. Come on, man. So going what? through all this research, so this could be this could. Uh, this screening could have taken place before Josh Whedon, uh, you know, came on board. But unwatchable? But that's what you're saying. It's unwatchable. And now if you guys remember when what? Batman vs. Superman was coming out, that was also deemed like, you know, it's, unwatchable. Not, it's not living it was up true, to the marks though. and stuff. So it's true. So, uh. yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Holly Wawa. What do you think is going to happen with this? Dude, I honestly have no idea. Uh, the movie looks good. Honestly, the trailers weren't that bad. <laughs> um, okay. It's, we, we honestly have to like wait and see if we get any more trailers, uh, any more of the movie, if we could. Yeah. Uh, I, I just hope it's not one of... It, it doesn't turn out the same way that Batman vs. Superman did, where they like, showed too many trailers. Yeah. But... I don't think it'll come to a will become unwatchable since this is like a, a, the one of the better Justice League uh, reboots because like you know you have the latest like uh, CGI. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's wait and see. Hopefully, so just... I, 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 I'm still gonna watch it. even if it gets good or reviews or bad reviews. I, I'm I'm gonna watch it. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it too. Just just but Ali, just so you know what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, uh, Oasis just po- posted a picture of you uh, putting putting your hand out. It's your and, Facebook uh, picture, Ali. Remember yeah. your Facebook picture? 
God I don't know. Damn. You know what? You'll see when when the video. Always has in. now. Always now has like all kinds of control now. Just uh, add man, the best. Midway in the podcast, you know, putting stuff up. This is so yeah, unprofessional. So much okay, fun now. Just keep uh, like like keep going. Sorry, <laughs> I keep yeah. getting distracted. Okay, what happened? <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, Justice League. Yeah, you know, um, this I'm gonna see it. You're gonna see it. No, Ali's yeah, gonna see sure. it. We're all gonna go see it. But one just can't help but wonder, you know, like what it's going through a lot. This movie, like the image is is being tarnished like every single week. Mm. Something's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a Zack Snyder movie. No, it's not a Zack Snyder movie. Mm. Josh Whedon comes in, you know, all this controversy that's going on. And now they're saying it's demon watchable. That's and how much so can weird, really man. Josh Whedon do to save that movie? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. How much can you really happen. do? Dude, so, the, the thing is, in, in my opinion, the thing is, it really doesn't matter. Because in the end, the the thing that people are going to look at is it's not like who directed it. It's just, it's just the fact that the brand name Justice, that's mm-hmm. enough to draw in. Like, even if it 60, is, man, we 60, still want 65% a good movie, of the people though. don't even know what's going on regarding the mm-hmm. controversies or controversy. Yeah. So, I, I really mm-hmm. don't think it's going to affect the sales that much. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's Justice League. But then, it, it, then what, what about like a like a situation and you had you had Man of Steel that was that was great commercially and it made a lot of money, but it wasn't yep. that well critically acclaimed or it didn't do that well with the critics. Then you have a mm-hmm. movie like Batman vs Superman, who that fell into the same category as you know it it made a shit ton of money. You know it was crazy, mm-hmm. but you know. Uh, the critics, you know, it didn't give good or good reviews. Again, Dude, that happens. But then, superhero when does, superhero movies are yeah, when, yeah go on. I feel like at one point the audience does sort of like turn on you in a way, which basically what happened with Transformers recently. If you look at it, you know, Transformers movies have been garbage for like the longest time. Yeah, but they kept making money. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know this, why. Though. This is the first time where a Transformer movie that came out recently. That didn't do as much as the previous movies, so I feel like there is, so like a fans will say enough is enough, you know. Like we want a good product, we just don't want to like, you know, feed off all this, uh, uh, you know, just they just want a good movie, you know what I mean? I and if it's not a good, movie. if a, a good movie generally will make more money at the end of the day. Mm. So mm. Uh, there's like yeah, how but... many months left? There's like three months left right now. Yeah, they they should just delay it. I yeah, just delay the movie now, should. please. Fix yeah, but the all thing your is problems. These, get uh, super... get everything in order and just delay the damn movie. Yeah. Because I don't know, man. The more the closer we're getting to that, the more. Even Josh Whedon, man. Please, like, take a break if you know it's not working out. Yeah. It's fine. We understand. Yeah. The the thing is, these superhero movies critics never like love uh, love right. Like they they're not gonna win some like oscar or anything for like not, best not story wise, or just like just something. like rating wise like uh wonder woman wonder woman was like rated so highly spider-man was rated so highly logan itself was rated so highly even yeah, guardians but- was rated highly there was there's been a great year for superhero movies like mm. critically wise you know yeah like so, i don't understand either. but like, not but not uh, not not superhero movie. huh what are you saying uh, I said it, it hasn't been great for superhero movie sequels. Sequels? Like, yeah, su- sequels to superhero. It hasn't been good. For, like, uh, you, you've yeah, had, how many like, have Wonder you had? Woman. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Can you hear us? Yeah. yeah. How many sequels have you had for superhero movies? Like, what movies are you talking about? Ali? Can you hear us? Ali just dropped out. Ah, well, I'm just gonna. Just <laughs> Ali dropped out, man. Give us a high five, Ali. Get the shit out of here. <laughs> okay, Hello? yeah. So while we were, oh god, damn here, Discord, dude! Here. I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, sorry. You can, you can hear us now. Can you hear us now, Ali? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? You were saying something, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, look, um, Batman versus that was basic manus, right? Mm, that yeah. didn't work out well. Yeah, uh, but that was all last year, right? I'm talking about this year. 
Yeah, this year we haven't had uh, like just had like new ones. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I did not. I didn't. It, I didn't yeah, like it either. I, yeah, but I thought it was okay. It, like, but critically, it did it, well. It, it wasn't. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was good, but I thought it was okay. Yeah. It wasn't really yeah. the best movie, but it was whatever. It was. It was. If it, it was very, it, it didn't capture. Oh well. I think we should move on from this topic. <laughs> okay. It always brings out the worst. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're always going to, at the end of the day, we're always going to, you know, go watch Destiny whenever it comes out, whether it be tomorrow, a year from now, or two months from now. Hmm. We're going to watch Destiny no matter what. Or a uh, decade. Yeah, or a decade, exactly. So, uh, another uh, thing that happened in the news was, uh, so we talked about Linkin Park. Yeah. A few months, like a weeks ago, uh, regarding Chester's uh, death and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, today, the the band just came out uh, saying themselves that, uh, they're, uh, you know, thank you for the support and, and the love from the fans and everything like that. But uh, they're gonna, they're actually doing like a tribute uh, event or of some sorts mm-hmm. uh, in Los Angeles. So uh, they just told us to, you know, heads up and wait up for those news like that. So, uh, you know, hopefully that will that will be cool and... Because the band has been silent for all this time, you know, and it's, mm. it's the first time they're speaking up it as a collective sense. group. So it makes sense. Hopefully, that will be something to look forward to towards to all the Linkin Park friends out there. Mm. Yeah, it's probably like just for closure. And like, yeah. they're, this is their like chance to say goodbye to Chester. Like, yeah, proper. exactly. Yeah. Linkin Park. Yeah. It'll be great to see. Uh, since he's the lead vocal, it'll be great to see like other uh, vocals come up, Artists, sing some of the yeah. songs. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that's to gonna be cool. That. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll to be see nice. Too. Uh, Ali, were you ever a Linkin Park fan? Yes. I know every song and I know every lyric to every song. Wow. So you're uh, a big fan. Yeah. That's I've been <laughs> a verse, no? like every time I live, every, every time a verse you come up to like help the uh, part like Yeah. I think he keeps getting cut off. I don't know why Mm -hmm. it's getting cut off. But yeah, I agree, man. Um, That's great, man. Yeah, so so that's something to look look forward to to, for all the Linkin Park fans out there. Is there anything else? So we finally got our Defenders finally released this week on Netflix. Who watched it? I watched it. Did you watch it? Yeah, I have two episodes left. I have... I just finished episode six. Yeah, I have three episodes left. So I have up till episode... Yeah, episode five, yeah. Okay. How about you, Ali? Did you watch it? I have... I will probably tomorrow if I have time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so far it's been been good. It's been interesting. You know, once again, it it didn't live up to all the, the expectations I think it had. Yeah. I thought it's not bad. I thought I, I, I thought it's entertaining. I thought it was very. Uh, but was that the high, with all the hype? Was that did you did you want this to be not bad and entertaining? I mean, because after wasn't... shows like we got after shows like Daredevil and Jessica Jones and uh, Daredevil season two, mm. you know, it sort of it sort of set the bar high for yeah, a, that's a superhero true. team up movie. And a lot know. of people were comparing these to like the Avengers as well, which, you know, that just totally lived up to everything. I thought for what it was, it was good. I'm still going to rate Daredevil as the highest one, especially yeah. season two. Like season yeah. two, Daredevil was probably the best thing ever Yeah, I saw from Marvel. Mm-hmm. After that, I'm going to put Jessica Jones in and then Daredevil's season, season one. one. Then Luke Cage, I guess. Yeah, and then and Iron, Iron Fist. Fist at the end. I'm going to put Defenders after Daredevil Season 2 or Jessica Jones. So either at 2 or 3. Oh, so you liked it that much. So it's all the, it's, it's on your top 3. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it's like yeah. better than the other ones. Right? Yeah. I would still say the first two Daredevil Seasons and Jessica Jones are, are more better. Are better, yeah. But I haven't finished the series yet. So I don't know. It could probably just blow me away. It's good, man. I mean... I did, I did enjoy it a lot, though. Like, I love the whole... It is, uh, a, it is cool to, like, watch them interact as well. Yeah. And the thing that I was telling you about, the best thing I thought about this show is that each character of the Defender has, like, a color scheme. Like, Daredevil yeah. has red, Jessica Jones has blue... Luke Cage is yellow and 
Hieronymus as green. So in their yeah. individual scenes, you'll see these colors Color like shiny. Being used yeah, so. completely. Well, well, I think that's been the case ever since the beginning. Like if you look at these individual shows in the beginning, Except their whole now it's opening so like, theme, yeah, their opening theme has been resolved around that color as well. Yeah, so you kind of like. Yeah. you know imprint in your brain that you know that color represents that yeah. and it's it's really it's been really cool to see in defenders use that whole color uh, scheme well uh, again i just chewed up my beard as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah so it was um yeah i actually but s- seeing all four of them together and seeing mm-hmm. these color palettes like back to back with the transition it also the tra- the transitions are cool. Yeah, you you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. I remember you mentioning that to me. The transition yeah. shots and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So that looked pretty too, cool yeah. too. Yeah, that was it's nice. It's good, man. I actually nice really like the show, but I don't know. Hopefully, it lives up to the expectations. That'd be nice. One of my favorite things about uh, any sort of team up, any sort of like Avengers team up, this Defenders or even Justice League, hopefully that comes up, hmm. is characters' interactions and their dialogues against each other. Oh, that's fantastic. I loved when Steve and, you know, it's Steve Rogers and man. Robert Downey Jr. and, you know, Tony Stark, when they, they had those, you know, back and forths and everything mm-hmm. like that. And I oh, love the quips, in, yeah. in the Defenders how, you know, Matt Murdock and Jessica Jones have their thing going. Luke Yo, Cage and, and Iron yeah, Fist, yeah, Danny Rand have their thing going. So those are my one of my favorite things that I don't think get, get highlighted enough. It's just their interactions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you just feel like a fangirl just going crazy, you know? They're, they're actually talking to each other. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah, Ali, you, you definitely got to see it, bro. Yeah, man. Watch it. And it it's like eight think. episodes, right? Yeah, only eight Yeah, it's episodes. only eight, which is weird because it's usually ten episodes, but now it's eight. Yeah, it's only a miniseries, so that's why. It's considered yeah, a miniseries. So, yeah. It's like two episodes short. Yeah. yeah, I'll go watch it after. It's good. And yeah, that's about that's pretty much about it. Cool for our news? transcendence news Guys, update. Thank Yay. you so much for listening. We'll see you in the next part. Later. Take care. Peace.